<coughs> Hello everyone, this is Robert here, bringing you Undertale. When last we left off, we met, we got into Snowden. Oh, I, have to, I haven't called Toriel in a long time. Dialing. Nobody picked up. No! What's my hit points like? 20 out of 20. Aw. Oh. What's in here? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're officially laid out. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> there's a there's a bunny walking a bunny. Is it my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tiki. <laughs> I know. Oh, this place is awesome. Hey, there's a little kid. Yo, you're a kid too, right? Yeah, I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, that's nice. What about you, bear? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Aww. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. That's so nice. What about you, you weird looking bunny? That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Bun, 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 bun. Eh, she's fine. She's nice. Oh, there's... Aww. What about you, Mr. Bear? This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Oh, okay, I agree. Grillbees! Let's go in. <gasps> oh my god, what happened to you? No matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Help, I want new drinks and uh, uh, hot guys. Oh, it's a girl. Huh! Oh, it's you puppies. You better watch where you sit down here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Oh, okay. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish these skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I agree. What about you? Yeah, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Oh, oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. What about you? I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. That is so true. I, I agree. God, these are so nice. What about you, puppy? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Just have fun there, chilling out, playing cards. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. No! I'll help you. I put out a line for some, I put out... Mm, I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Sure. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone and gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Well, that's not nice. Don't let her be like that. Grillsbid said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh, that's okay. You know what? You're fine. What about you? The jukebox is broken. No! What about you, horse? The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to stop moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Ah, I don't know if that's rude or not, but I'm... <gasps> that's a mouse. I'm gonna talk to the mouse. Everybody's always... <clears throat> Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Oh, that's okay. What about you? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so we be so so. Why be so morose about it? That is a good thing. Oh, we have a library. I want to read books. Wow, that's got a lot of notes. We're gonna read books. Oh my God, I'm getting visions of Dreamy Mary. I should finish that game someday. But do I? I want to play this game. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. That look in your eye. 
Hey, look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble. Excuse me. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? How did he she know? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Oh my god, where is that in my newspaper? <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me weird sir gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monsters' souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Well. Ah. <coughs> uh, okay. Monster History Part 4. Theory of the humans no longer. We moved out of our old city. Home. We've braved harsh, cold, damp swamplands and searing heat until we reach what we now call our capital. New home. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Again, our king is really bad at names. <coughs> well, that's good enough for me. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their souls. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemy, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. No! Yeah, that's probably best. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> I get that joke. That's pretty clever. Well, monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Oh, It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking... Excuse me, that, that really hurt my throat. ...are cool as heck. <laughs> when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. You are! You're free to go! Thank you for your lessons. So monsters turn to dust. Oh my. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread mail. Unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus! Look inside. Sure. It's empty. Oh, Papyrus. I'm so sorry. It's locked. Ah. Uh... It's locked from the inside. I'm so sorry, Papyrus. I didn't... Oh, Take it easy, man. I'll write you a letter. Wait, what's going on? Hi? <gasps> the great Papyrus. He's here. Human. <coughs> Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what, it's, what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder, I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. No, Papyrus. Oh, man. Papyrus blocks the way. Act, Papyrus. Check. Papyrus, attack 20 to 50. He likes to say, Nyeh. Nyeh. Oh, okay. Pillars. See that? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make some spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. 
Let's date l later, after I capture you. No, Papyrus! I mean, I, I make really good spaghetti, but yours is nowhere. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Here's Flirt. Uh, oh no! Let's date later, after I- Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Cash me. Oh. Papyrus is thinking about what to- Uh, spare. So, you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fable blue attack. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't handle it. The power, the overwhelming power. Okay, I handled it. What? Oh. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Uh Spare. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Boop. I get it. Aha! Pirate dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Flirt. Pirate's is too busy fighting to flirt back. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Come on, Papyrus. We can be friends. Woo! Aha! Oh my god, this is so hard. Papyrus dabs. Insult. Papyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh my god, this is getting so hard. This is this is ridiculous. Papyrus dab. I can almost taste my future popularity. Woo! Oh Jesus! Oh! Oh, you rat bastard, you! Check. Papyrus. He likes to say nih. Head of the Royal Guard. Ooh. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Flirt. Papyrus. Unparalleled spaghetti tour! Ah! Uh, nope. Psych! I'm not falling for that. Ah! Uh. Uh, you know, I haven't- You ate the butterscotch pie, your hit points was maxed out. Undyne will really be proud of me. But what about me, Papyrus? I, I feel like we had a connection. We could do this, man. We could be- We could be one. Papyrus realized he doesn't have ears. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Ugh. We c Papyrus, man. Come on. Don't do this. Hard to play cool. Papyrus is Okay, I just have to keep sparing him. My brother? Well... Ugh. Come on, man. Papyrus is cackling. I have lots of admirers, but... Yeah, you have lots of admirers, but you're our, our cool man. Oh, my God. Papyrus is trying to play it cool. Spare. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Probably not, Papyrus. Man, you're the coolest guy I know. Oh, Jesus, don't capture me. Ugh. Well, at least I still got Ida. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Monster candy! You ate the monster candy. You recovered 10 hit points. Someone like you is really rare. I know, thank you. Oh, my God. Please. Oh, <laughs> Yes, I know, Papyrus. We belong together. Papyrus is yours. <laughs> and we'll spare you again. And dating might be ki and dating might be kind of hard. I know, man. I know how you feel. Oh, Jesus Christ! Papyrus, we'll spare you again after you're captured and sent away. Ah, oh, I, I can't lose. Oh, thank you. Nice cream! Have a wonderful day. Your hit points was. Ugh, who cares? Give up! No! Papyrus! You're the coolest person I know. I can't give up. That would be wrong for you. I mean, come on. Papyrus is pairing a bone act. Oh, that's time for this! Jesus! It's all... Oh, wow, it is. Um. Flirt. Papyrus is too busy. Ugh, I'll just keep sparing him. 
Give up or face my special attack. Ah, oh, that's so hard. Oh. Hard's no, I will not fight. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Oh my god, Papyrus. Why? Papyrus is crackling. Not too long and I'll use that special attack. No, Papyrus. I, I just... We're, we're cool, bro. We're cool, man. Papyrus is considering his options. There. This is your last chance before my special attack. Ah. Oh. Come on, Papyrus. Mandana. You ate the snow piece. Your hit points is... Behold, my special attack! Ah, What the heck? That's my special... That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Just getting ready for a regular attack. I'll spare you again, man. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh, come on, Papyrus, man. We could just be friend, man. We are cool. You're cool, man. I... Cool! Dude, oh. Oh my god, that's amazing. This is amazing. Oh. <laughs> what the heck is going on? That was... Why is this combat so amazing? Oh my god. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see your shake. I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you, and I spare Papyrus. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quality will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends? What a loser. Oh, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then. I guess? I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. But great Papyrus, that's why you're so great, man. Just, just this is this is amazing. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh, I love this. I love this stuff. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. Excuse me. The king of all monsters. He is? Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Deemer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> I know we're over time, but I made a promise. You know what that promise is. I know what that promise is. I have to be going on a date with that cool guy. Hey, buddy. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you somewhere, someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh, oh sure. 
I mean, cool, man. It's my first date, you know, just... Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I know where this is. <laughs> my house! <laughs> Sweet. Oh my god, he has a flat screen... LED TV? Sweet. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Oh, well, let's just watch some TV. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's fine, man. I don't judge you. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. <laughs> don't put it back. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You move it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Why don't you just pick it up and move it here? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. Aw. Oh, the rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh, that's fine. Oh my god. He follows you. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. Cool, man. This is, this is the best date I've ever been in, I must say. Haha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Aw, oh, that's nice. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh, hi, Poochie! What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Hi! Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Alright, well... Oh, the oven. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Hmm. Might be pie. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Not yet. We're good. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The bones. The door is locked. Alright, let's go inside this bedroom. Oh wait, there's a book! How could I forget the book? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah? Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. I get the joke. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Alright. Oh my god, I forgot this. Stupid. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Piece. Can I keep this? Yeah, okay. I think we're fine. Time to go in. Yeah, we're going in your room, man. It's time to... Sure. Oh my god. He's got a car. He's the coolest, most awesomest person in the world. And his carpet's flame stripe. That means it goes really fast, everyone. Oh, there's more boats. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Oh, crap. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it was basically... Even though it basically just happened. I know. He's got a computer! The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen... I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Dude. Me too. Of course! Fame has a step... Steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I think that'd be your brother, but I'm not gonna say anything. Shh. Followers. Shh. <gasps> He's got... Dolls, I mean action figures. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theor theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Santa! Awesome. Isn't that a flag? Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. 
<laughs> Your wisdom, his wisdom is beyond words. He is the smartest, most brilliantest person I have ever met. Tid. That book, that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That neck book, that neck book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with fluffy bunnies. The ending always gets me. Oh my god, I know. I had a, um... I had a I had a two letter crossword puzzle. It was just so difficult. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look at the closet. Sure, clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, that's nice. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Yeah, man. Okay, dating started. Dating. <laughs> oh my God, we're in a battle. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. <laughs> oh, he tried. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C on your keyboard for dating HUD. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wowie, I feel so informed. I don't know why there's cry. There's cry. There's a dog. This is the most funniest, greatest thing I have ever witnessed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yeah. R really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on a nice clothes to show you care. Oh, you got that, man. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hangs off you? You're wearing clothing right now? Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? He knows my true feelings, what can I say? No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, no, your dating power. Oh. Nyeh. Nyeh. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment? <laughs> Am I doing something wrong? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Move and expect it was E. There's no secret in my, to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be proved this way. It's true. There's no secret to my legs. Okay, what about your shoes? Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of sh our shoes are on the other hand, are about the same. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist. What is it? There's no secret to my- oh, it's, I guess it's just really long. My hat? My hat. My hat. <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present is just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Yeah, right? But oh, so wrong. This ain't any old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. <laughs> Human, it's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. He must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. It's true. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Ugh. No. 
Did, did I kill you with the power of love? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I think it's both of those things, man. Oh. Oh, shoot. Human. I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. <gasps> oh. Romantically, I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. No. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. No, say it isn't so. I feel just the same, I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. It's true. It's all true. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. Really? And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. Thank you. My mom Sherry. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. It'd be tragic to lose you, but at last. True love can never exist between you and me. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because... I don't even have lips. Your passion has reached deep within my heart. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. I don't know. Well, no, that's not true. At least you're honest. But I'll have, but I'll help you for, I'll help you settle for second best. That will be acceptable. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> oh. That's completely tragic and I am sad. I'll never... The door's locked. I'll never be with the one true Great Papyrus. Never again will I go on a date with him to his own house. <sighs> I, I just don't know what to say. My heart has been broken. Shattered. Torn has faced the traumatic experience of being broken apart. But at last, I will carry on. And until then, everyone, have fun and keep playing. I will have to mend my heart. Goodbye, and thank you for watching.